Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Synapse Analytics and how to create and connect to SQL Pool using Azure Portal and how to scale compute for SQL Pool using Azure Portal. What is Azure Synapse Analytics? Azure Synapse is an analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. It gives you the freedom to query data on your terms using either serverless on demand or provision resources at scale. Azure Synapse brings these two worlds together with a unified experience to ingest, prepare, manage, and serve data for immediate BI and machine learning needs. With Azure Synapse, data professionals can query both relational and non-relational data using the familiar SQL language. This can be done using either serverless on-demand queries for data exploration and ad hoc analysis or provision resources for your most demanding data warehousing needs. A single service for any workload. Azure Synapse has four components. Synapse SQL, Complete SQL based analytics, Next one, Spark, deeply integrated Apache Spark. Next one, Synapse Pipelines, hybrid data integration. And last one, Studio, unified user experience. Synapse SQL pool in Azure Synapse. Synapse SQL pool refers to the enterprise data warehousing features that are generally available in Azure Synapse. SQL pool represents a collection of analytic resources that are being provisioned when using Synapse SQL. The size of SQL pool is determined by data warehousing units that is called DW. Import big data with simple poly-based T-SQL queries and then use the power of MPP to run high performance analytics. As you integrate and analyze, Synapse SQL pool will become the single version of proof your business can count on for faster and more robust insights. Key component of a big data solution. Data warehousing is a key component of a cloud-based end-to-end big data solution. In a cloud data solution, Data is ingested into big data stores from a variety of sources. Once in a big data store, Hadoop, Spark, and machine learning algorithms prepare and train the data. When the data is ready for complex analysis, Synapse SQL pool uses Polybase to query the big data stores. Polybase uses standard T-SQL queries to bring the data into Synapse SQL pool tables. Synapse SQL pool stores data in relational tables with columnar storage. This format significantly reduces the data storage cost and improves query performance. Once data is stored, you can run analytics at massive scale. Compared to traditional database systems, Analysis queries finish in seconds instead of minutes or hours instead of days. I will log into Azure portal now. I'll show you how to create and connect and how to scale compute for SQL pool using Azure portal. I'm logging into Azure portal now. I'm in the Azure portal now. 
I will go to home and go to search resources services. I will type synapse. So under the services, we can see Azure Synapse Analytics. Let's click on Azure Synapse Analytics. I will click on create Synapse SQL pools. So I will create one resource group. I'll just say Synapse Resource Group. I need to give a, a SQL pool name. I will say demo database. And I will create a new server. Let's just say test server. Then I need to give a server admin. We need these credentials to log into the server using SQL Server Management Studio. And then location, I'll just keep it East US. And then here you can check this one, allow Azure services to access the server. And click on OK. And then performance level. So here you can choose the performance level that best fits your needs and starting at 1.51 us dollars per hour i'll just keep data warehouse units 100 just apply and then go to next settings and then use existing data let's use existing sample data click on sample and then go to review and here is the estimation cost per hour 1.51 us dollars and then region east us and our sql pool name demo database and then server name test server 87324 let's create this synapse analytics it just take a few minutes you can see under the notifications your deployment is underway Now our deployment succeeded. Let's go to resource. And here we can see server name and connection strings and then location is to US. Go to firewall and virtual networks. And then we kept this allow Azure services and resources to access this server. Okay, let's go to overview and then copy this server name. So now we will connect to the server using SQL Server Management Studio. Just copy it and then enter the credentials. And you will get a new firewall rule. Just use that Microsoft Azure account to sign in. and click OK. Now it is connecting to the server. So click on databases. Under the databases, you can see our SQL pool database name, demo database, and click on tables. We choose to use the existing sample data. This is existing sample data. And then we can run a couple of queries. I'll just check what are the, the databases available. Select start from 
system dot databases execute so these are the databases one is master and other one is demo database i will run a sample query from this sample database select last name first name from the customer table where last name equal to adam execute it okay here we need to choose database name demo database let's execute so these are this is the sample data we have we have about 82 record so this is how you connect to sql pool using sql server management studio and we will go back to azure portal i will, sh I will show you how to scale compute for sql pool So I'm in the Azure portal, go to overview, and here you can see the scale option. Just click on scale, and then here you can see it. Scale your system, data, ware data warehouse units, 100. So if you want to increase it to 500, and then here you can see the price, USD per hour, $7.55 per hour. If you want to keep it, 15 uh, if you want to keep it 2000 here you can see the price 30 point 30 dollars 20 cents so you can you can keep this settings that fits best for your needs so this is how you scale compute for a sql pool so once you are done with your demo or once you are done with your resources, if you want to clean up the resources, if you want to delete the resources, you can just use this delete option and then type the database name and then it will delete the database. Just our database name. And click on delete so this is how you connect to sql pool this is how you scale compute for sql pool if you have any questions please post it in the comment section if you like this video please sub subscribe and share the channel thank you